Shalom, shalom. This is the brother Dunya Allah coming back again with another lesson, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Arakakwadash, the warners to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Uh, well, shalom to the whole full like brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear and that Heavenly Father and His Son. Um, you know, just wanted to do a quick lesson, you know, on, you know, something basic, you know, what, what is sin? All right. This is uh, 1 John chapter 3. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Right. Um, and ye know that he was manifest to take away your sins and in him is no sin. So that's, you know, talking about the Lord Yahweh Shire. You know, in that lifetime, he didn't. Break the laws, tests, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Now, uh, <clears throat> the laws, tests, and commandments, uh, Psalms chapter, let me see here, Psalms chapter 1, I believe it's 147, 147 and 19. He sheweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. So the Heavenly Father, all right, through um, Moses, uh, uh, basically gave the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the law, all right, the commandments, all right, the things that are pleasing unto the Most High. <clears throat> he gave unto our nation, right? Not the other nations, right? Which is also proof that the Lord is not dealing with the other nations, all right? He have not dealt so with any nation. And as for his judgments, they have not known him. Praise ye the Lord, right? So all these different judgments, uh, laws, statutes, and commandments was given unto us, all right? So when you go against them, then it becomes uh, sin, transgression of the law, right? Which the law is not done away with, right? <coughs> so, like, yeah, ignore, I am, come. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 17, and this is in red, so this is the Lord, Yahweh Shai, speaking himself. It says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Right? So the law is not destroyed. It's still intact. <clears throat> it has, you know, precedence over your life as long as you liveth, if you're an Israelite. Right. Soon all all nations will have to be um, subjected to the most high's way of life. All right. To laws, tests and commandments. Right. But for right now, we're held accountable for breaking the law. It says all the prophets have not come to destroy, but to fulfill, which is what the Lord did in that time. He fulfilled the prophecies that the prophets. Right. And he fulfilled the law. Okay, <clears throat> this says, Verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one, uh, one jot or one title shall not, shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Right? So, even the, the smallest or most minute law, okay, uh, um, is still going to be intact. You know, in, in heaven and earth. You know, uh, it's not going to pass, man. You know, uh, real quick, Ecclesiastes chapter 1, verse 4, right? It says, one generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abided forever. So the earth is going to always be here, right? So the law is always going to be intact. The heavens are always going to be here, right? The law is, all, is, is always going to be intact. Uh, real quick, another one. Um... 
Psalms chapter 148, I believe it's verse 6. Um, and this is when uh, I start at verse 5. It says, let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded that they were created. So that what was created. Um, oh, we can start at verse 4. It says, praise him, ye heavens of heavens, ye waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded that they were created. He have also, <coughs> Salakia, he have also established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which shall not pass. There you go. So all the creation of the Most High, including the heaven and the earth, right, shall not pass. All right. He created a decree that they were created. Right, they're established, they exist, and they shall not pass. They're going to be forever, right? So the law is always going to be intact, right? The Most High didn't change the law, right? Now, <clears throat> hey, us Israelites, so-called uh, uh, you know Native Americans, uh, Blacks and Latinos, uh, we we are suffering because we have broken the law, right? We committed sin. Right, which is transgression of the law, which we got in the beginning. This is <coughs> um, Amos. Oh, I guess I was there earlier. Amos chapter 3 and uh, verse 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. <coughs> Salaki, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Right. So the Lord only know, know, have known the children of Israel. Right. So he's going to punish us for our iniquities because he only gave us. He we were the only nation that he gave the laws, statutes and commandments, man. You know, and that's what we read in Psalms. Uh. The 147th chapter, 19th verse, right? Uh, let me get this also. <coughs> Baruch chapter 4. <coughs> Salakia. So, uh, I'm trying to get this. Baruch chapter 4. Verse 3. Baruch chapter 4, verse 3. It says, Give not thine honor to another. Nor the things that are profitable unto thee to a strange nation. <clears throat> right? So the promises. Um, all right. The glory. All the different things that pertain to our nation. That are given from the Most High. Is for us. We're not to try and put that on another nation. Whom the Most High didn't give it to. Also it says give not thine honor to another. Right? Our honor belongs to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, that uh, clothed us and nourished us and uh, made us to be rich in the earth and gave us uh, uh, riches and wisdom, right, right, through the law. It says, um, verse 4, O Israel, happy are we, for the things that are pleasing unto the Most High are made known unto us, right? <clears throat> so, A, the law, statutes, commandments are the things that are made ple that are pleasing unto Yahweh, Shemiel, and Shai, and they were made known unto us. Right. But since we departed from the law and uh, committed sin against the most high. All right. We are experiencing uh, these curses. So, you know, Lord, will uh, this is just a basic video. Lord, will you edify? And with that, I'm going to say shalom. <coughs>